Well, it is a volatile time for anyone in the market to buy or sell a home. Clinical professor of finance at the University of San Diego, Dan Ricardo, joins us now live for tips to make the best decision with your money in today's housing market. We all have these questions. Should <laughs> sellers wait, Dan, do you think, to sell their homes? Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, listen, if you have to sell your home, you're downsizing, you're moving to another state, whatever the case may be. You have to sell it. What are you going to do, right? So here's the thing. Prices are down about 2.2% since the beginning of June. So prices are definitely coming down, no question. And further declines are probably very likely. As the interest rate goes up, home prices go down. And the interest rates are still headed north. There's no question about that. So if you're the seller that you have to sell, refresh the home now. Fill in that koi pond. Get rid of grandmom's mural on the dining room. You know, the wall, those sorts of things. Make it nice and fresh, but price it realistically. That's the ticket if you have to sell your house right now. So, Dan, should home buyers still purchase homes or wait for lower interest rates, would you say? Great question. And listen, just like sell, some sellers have to sell, some buyers have to buy, right? They're, they, their family's growing or they're downsizing. Um, but it is a buyer's market. And that's good news for buyers. That means you and I as buyers can negotiate things that we couldn't just a few months ago namely price, right? Let's negotiate a better price. For buyers, I always say be patient, be prepared. What I mean by that is be patient, wait for the right home at the right price. There's no urgency at this point because prices are still coming down. And finally, think long term. You know, you're not day trading a stock, right? You're buying a home. Then the reality is if you can't be in that home, if you're not planning to be there, Kelly, for at least five years, you probably want to pass anyway. So this is a long term commitment. So I think we got a sneak peek into your answer for this one a little earlier in the interview when you said get rid of grandma's decor. But what <laughs> should buyers or sellers do since home prices are plummeting right now? Yeah, great question. So here's the first thing I always tell folks is, you know, you don't want to be house rich and cash poor. It's no fun buying a house and not being able to turn the heat on. That's a real bummer, right? So make sure that you're within your budget, no matter what the market is doing. Number two, um, as, as you said, now's the time to declutter, freshen up the home. If you're a seller, you want to present that home in its best light possible, then that way you will be able to sell it at the right price. You know, um, here's the thing. There's a lot of buyers and sellers out there that have different expectations. Sellers have to become much more realistic about the market today. So if, you're, if you really want to sell your home, as I said, price it right. And buyers, you're going to pay more. But how about this for a strategy? How about what I call buy now, refi later? If you've got decent credit, you're buying a home now, you're going to pay that higher rate. There's no question. But if you have decent credit, sometime down the road when interest rates go down, you do the refi. Buy now, refi later at a lower rate. Dan Ricardo, it is always a pleasure. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks, Cal. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.